county lines in 2019. They're making thousands, can you blame them? If it was legal, they would be out of business. Protecting users and safeguarding children. Say we arrested one or two, you guarantee there'll be maybe another 10 available. For three months, we followed a county line from Liverpool to North Wales. Stay down. Come on, come on. With teenage drug runners moving heroin and crack hundreds of miles every week. Sue's daily routine is 20 years in the making. Just taking it doesn't feel like I'm full of cold, but after this, I feel normal. Just taking it to feel normal. First heroin, then crack. Each county line can make up to £5,000 a day. I've just come to have a look. Well, you know a here. Two lines have been in Sue's home. It's called cuckooing, when dealers move in selling drugs. First, in 2017, Mohammed from a London gang. You've got that there in case you get taxed, haven't you? Took over Sue's flat to deal heroin and crack. Then last year, this teenager who we can't name arrived from Liverpool. He was caught with thousands of pounds worth of illegal drugs. Well, I never thought this would happen. So when you were getting the free crack, you weren't stealing? No, I was like nice life. Now I have to go out begging like a little dirty little rat. Skint. You're never going to get rid of the drug problem. In Clandidno, PC Carl Barlow's priority is to protect users and children. In the top flat, you suspect some people cuckooing at the moment. Day and night, we watch Carl visiting heroin and crack users. Just come through here, check there's no one in the... Uh... Some in crisis. <laughs> All at risk. Carl's worried that there are young teenagers in these flats now selling crack and heroin. There are thousands of vulnerable, long-term users across North Wales. No, no, no. This woman admitted to using heroin while Carl was in the house. Right, you ask any of the users, have I ever locked them up for having a, a personal bits on them? What, are we talking crack here or heroin or...? Both. Both. Because what, 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 what's the point? There's no way that I would be allowed access into these properties without a warrant and stuff like that if they knew that I was going to go in there and lock them all up for possessing personal use heroin and crack cocaine. You two lads are being detained under Section 20. And this is why, to safeguard children. How old are you? 16. 16, right. From Liverpool. School-aged children sent to North Wales. Well, don't come slander, no selling drugs. Well, so I need to get in those addresses to check that there's no kids in there. And if I'm not letting the address, I can't do that. They're all from deprived backgrounds generally. They've either been in care or you know on like at-risk registers. They're constantly missing from home. Then there's the violence. Mark Mason was chased in a car, then stabbed to death in Rill by a Liverpool gang. In Connors Quay, teenager Matthew Cassidy from Merseyside was murdered by a county line's rival. Nobody here? No. Just have a quick look, yeah? yeah. Here, police are worried about Kate at risk of being cuckooed. Nobody's been here. Would you tell us if they have? Of course it would. These people need to be told to stay away from me. I don't know what they've done in the past. I certainly not hurt anyone yes. or sold any drugs to anybody. The message it's a horrible thing to do. has already been sent. It is terrifying. And it's not fair. No. It's not. Every single ground floor window, apart from the door, it's been put through. And the biggest concern is that the people who have done this will come back and do it again and again. It is never ending. So what needs to change? It's difficult. The only way you would stop the 
drug supplies from you know the OCGs and the, the county line stuff like that is if the drugs were were legalized we then moved 75 miles away to St Helens right now I can't protect those kids because I don't know where they are where police are searching for missing children. It keeps being the kids that have got links to North Wales. By the time it gets to the 6th and 7th address, you, you know, it, you start to feel sick. You're just thinking that these kids are not here. They're not anywhere they should be. It's becoming a daily routine. Let's give you some information on the county lines. With searches from day to night. Right, we're going to another address of missing child, but this is the care home, this is the home address. And in those children's homes, police are hearing the same story. Yeah, can I just explain we've got people the most vulnerable kids being found in North Wales. So we've got massive concerns about this North Wales link. This now. is what it's worrying about now. Yeah, of course it is. We're a little concerned that someone's got older women. Okay. We've changed the carer's voice to protect the child's identity. Right, he's came back with an iPhone 5 or 6, and I asked him how he got through because he's working. So I asked him said, what's well, having kind of a, because we know he's kind of a smoker and he yeah. won't answer me. Okay. And what's your big worry? <laughs> My worry? That he's getting into drug dealing, isn't he? He's been exploited. Yeah. He's a good kid, really. I think you've got to understand that these children have been ripped apart by family issues, drugs mainly and stuff like that, of their parents. It's not their fault. So today I've been on duty for three hours and all I've done is missing person checks. And this is the reality for some care children. That yours? Arrested in North Wales, this teenager had more than 20 grams of heroin and crack hidden inside his body, worth around £3,000. Six months later, open. we're back in St Helens, Hello, is the police? outside his supported accommodation. Your door's broken, two girls, three girls. Come on, guys. Why's the window, why's the door smashed? Officers are searching for a different child, a 15-year-old missing from care at risk of county lines. Yeah. I just need to check you're all right. Yeah. I do know where the door is. All right. Police say younger, missing care children repeatedly end up here, all vulnerable to exploitation. So the missing child who's, we think, coming and going from Wales, spends yeah. some time in there. He does, yeah. How old is he? He's 15, yeah. So the, 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 the lad we're looking for is 15. It really is getting to know our kids from the care homes, getting to know our kids on the street, and to look out for these sort of danger signs, really. Gangs are targeting a network of children's homes to send them 50 miles away to sell heroin and crack. 14, I think, was the youngest that I, I'm personally aware of, was found drug dealing in North Wales. And then a couple of weeks later, we had a 15-year-old arrested. It was only when it was looked at, why were these two kids from Merseyside, both from care homes, in North Wales drug dealing? that we identify that those children are, in fact, being used. Um, and, and county lines is, is a bigger problem. <laughs> Police showed us this footage. In the middle of this, a child in care. Although this arrest isn't for a county lines offence, officers say he's already been found in North Wales. A young child. Stop banging your head. In crisis. It's all the body cam, it's all been recorded. Stop the kids it. that do get exploited, a lot of them go through an ordeal. So it's extreme. These kids are traumatised by it. The care home that we spoke to and the people we spoke to said he's lovely. The last few weeks, he's out of control. What's your fear? Why he's doing this? My, my fear is he's criminally exploited. He's gone from being a nice loving child now to someone that's dead aggressive. And that's county lines. And that's county lines. And this goes far beyond St Helens. Across the UK, it's believed 10,000 children are involved in county lines drug dealing. There's chaos. If it goes any more than it is now, we're barely dealing with it now. And I think if it gets bigger and more violent, then there's just not enough of us. They have to be controlled. We don't know exactly how many care children are being exploited in St. Helens. But we do know no one Anybody has else? been prosecuted for trafficking kids in the town. Oh my God! Put your leg down. And having watched that footage, it's quite distressing, really, because it's bringing home the reality. You can't not be shocked. Where's the window? Where's the... As a police officer of 25 years' experience, that is the harsh reality of what is happening in, in towns and cities across our country. He's getting into drug dealing, isn't it? We showed our reports to Assistant Chief Constable Chris Green and to Child Safeguarding Head Sarah O'Brien. Mm -hmm. 
At times, during our filming, the flow of teenage drug mules between Merseyside and North Wales seemed relentless. You've got that there in case you get taxed, haven't you? This is not just a St Helens problem, this is a national problem. There are children out there on the street today who've gone missing who we cannot keep safe. There are children out there today who are in the type of houses that you've featured in your film. They are at risk. Can we keep all of them safe at the moment? No, we can't. Put that knife down, down, please. Criminal exploitation is a crisis. And I think the funding is a crisis. Mental health services are at breaking point, um, schools are at breaking point, social care's at breaking point, so we need more resource putting in. As we filmed in North Wales, one officer told us he no longer arrested heroin and crack cocaine users for personal possession. His priority was to protect and safeguard child dealers. You lads are being detained under section 23. No, no, no. Right, you ask any of the users, have I ever locked them up for having a, a personal bits on As a person, I can absolutely understand someone making a decision to say, do you know what? I need to try and get into that house to make sure that people are safe, to make sure I've not got any children in there from elsewhere who are vulnerable. Officers provided this footage showing a young child being arrested. They said the child had slipped into crisis after being exploited by criminals. Probably in that moment he was absolutely terrified. Put your leg down. Stop banging your head. And he's somebody's child, and that we collectively as society, particularly for these vulnerable young people who are in care for whatever reason, we need to protect them. Quite often, it is absolutely right that a young person needs to be arrested. It's justified, it's reasonable, and it's lawful. It doesn't make good watching. No cop comes into work wanting to go out and arrest children. No one. As a nation, are we failing to protect our children? Yes, I think we are, from criminal exploitation. Drug gangs grooming thousands of vulnerable children. Record drug deaths. County lines, one of the most complex policing challenges of the 21st century.